first of all take some lash glue just mark out the area around the knuckles just roughly like that then take some very small pieces of cotton wool roll them up thinly like that and apply that along the lash glue Then take some more lash glue and apply that over the top of the cotton wool. You can also use a damp finger smooth the edges around the outside let's go as smooth as we can So, then while we're waiting for the latex to dry, I'm just going to take some black eyeshadow and just shade in the centre of the wound, avoiding the knuckles. Okay, so what I've done is I've just shaded in between each of my knuckles with black eyeshadow which really makes them stand out but as you can see if I go like that it's just the eyeshadow but I've done it where the knuckles are so it's going to look more like the bone sticking then out. Then I'm going to take some fake blood and apply that over the top of the black eyeshadow just dabbing the blood around the edges of the knuckle because we don't want perfect perfect circles obviously go along all the edges of the wound just want to make it look like the skin's been ripped off take some concealer and apply that on top of the cotton wool and lash glue mix around the edges this is just going to help us to blend it in I only apply this once the um, tissue and lash glue are dry though else it will pull it off we 
don't worry if it flattens down the edges of the cotton because you can always make those stick back up later and this doesn't have to be perfect anyway it's just to help get rid of some of the white just a normal face powder this one's just a dream matte powder it's a broken one that I use for my special effects stuff I'm going to apply that over the top of the concealer this will lighten it a bit so it will blend in a bit more with my skin tone then I'm going to take a brownie red and apply that along the edge and use that to make it look like the edges of the skin are sore we're only applying a bit so I want it to look like a fresh wind that's just happened With the edges of the cotton wool we can just push those up so they stick up a bit more. So instead of looking like a thick chunk of cotton wool it's just going to look like the skin's peeled up a bit at the edges. gently pushing with the brush to make the edges stick up a bit more and I'm going to apply some fake blood a bit more along the edges I like the view when you look at it from this way. It looks even more like the bone sticking out. And that's it, that's how you make it look like you have exposed knuckles. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe.